Good morning. It is 9.38 a.m. on Saturday, June 13th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis and just got up. This is five more minutes. So, on a slightly time-shifted schedule today, I was very pleased that Rocket allowed me to do it um, because we stayed up late last night, later than I intended to, really, but I was playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake on PlayStation 4, and really enjoying it. Um, I should add with the uh, context of this game that I did play the original back when it came out on PC, but I never got to the ending, because I got to a point where I was not leveled enough. I hadn't done enough grinding and basically I was not high enough level to win the final battles, but I had used too many of my save slots um, more recently and so basically I couldn't go back to somewhere that I could do some more grinding and so I was basically just stuck and would have had to start the game over and chose not to. So it's always been a little bit of a sore spot in my video game history. Now, the remake is different because it's taking a small section of the original game and making it its own standalone, um, you know, game with a lot of expanded stuff. And for the most part, I think that stuff's pretty good. Like, there's occasional bits here and there that feel like they're really just padding. Um, and some of them are just mini games that feel like really silly for no real purpose, but by and large, it's pretty good. Like, uh, the story, if you know the Final Fantasy games, like, the story is very anime-influenced. It has a lot of those sorts of tropes in it, but for that, I think the writing is actually pretty good. Um, and, uh, like, for example, there's sort of a uh, famous slash infamous section of the original game where in order to sneak into this uh, club, uh, you know, the main character, Cloud, who is a man, has to dress up as a woman. And it would be difficult to know how to uh, handle that in today's era. But uh, surprisingly enough, the whole sequence where he... Um, gets made up to look like a woman is done in this club where the whole attitude around it is not awkward and shameful and uh, and all that is like celebratory like it's it's kind of a little bit like um, uh, shoot drag like a drag club but like all there's a lot of dancing involved and uh, it's just this really cool sequence actually and it's like you know, that's kind of fun. And then, like, all the different characters and the way they're written uh, has a, is a lot of fun. I really like it, is the, is the thing. Now, that said, mostly I like the combat. There are parts of the combat that I don't like as much. For example, for an action RPG, because they've changed it to an action RPG rather than the original, mostly turn-based, but... There are too many fights where a boss hits, you know, like a, an enemy hits you and then you can't move. And so it hits you again and so you still can't move. And so it hits you again and you still can't move. And you're basically standing there waiting to be able to move again as it hits you over and over and over again until you're unconscious and you have to start the fight over. So that's not fun. You know, um, I just, I wish I could just sit, sit the designers down and just say that shouldn't happen or it should be just very rare because like it's not fun when that happens. The game stops being fun. Anyway, uh, the game, it remains pretty fun for me. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I think that I'm. I don't want to say the home stretch because I don't know how long each section is, but I'm I'm most of the way through the plot of of this remake is my understanding. So, 
continuing to enjoy it. We'll probably finish it this weekend. Uh, in any event, that's kind of one of the things I've got going on. And uh, in the meantime, tomorrow is Sunday, so I'll be continuing my rewatch of Legend of Korra. And I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.